welcome this morning, actually afternoon, for Health and a Cure, uh, the children's spread, amen. It is how we receive and take a hold of our health. It's in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being with me today. And this was rolling around in my spirit. Uh, uh, sorry for the delay on ministering today in healing. Usually I do very early in the morning, or not that early, but 7.30. And uh, anyway, just got back from Miami where we had a break, amazing breakthrough conference in Miami. Uh, it was amazing. And um, he is the Lord for you today of the breaking through. He is the Lord of breaking through. He is Alparazim, Balparazim, the Lord of the breakthrough. Amen. He can break through and will break through for you today. Um, let's go to Hebrews and chapter 4. And I want to talk to you just a little bit for you about infirmities and, and, and that Jesus himself bore our infirmities and so in in this uh in i'm just going to tell you kind of what infirmities are they are weaknesses in the mind or they can be weaknesses in the body they can be frailty okay or weakness amen it could be a weakness in your mind that you're just not strong in your mind uh over a particular area that can be an infirmity, okay? And so um, that's from the Greek, from 771. You can look it up in the in the Strong's Concordance. And but I want to take you to Hebrews because this is the victory. It's in Hebrews chapter four, and I want to encourage you that that when you are weak, the Bible says in another verse that I know I, I glory in my infirmities. For when I am weak, I see the power of God come in and help me. And the power of God is there for you in the weak areas where you can't do it. God will himself come and meet you and do what you can't do. Amen. Only you, your part is to stay in faith and looking to Jesus, who is the one that began and put faith in you to begin with. He is the beginning and he is the end of your, of your, the fulfillment of your faith. And so in Hebrews chapter 4, verse uh, 15, it says, and let's actually start with 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, he passed into heaven. Jesus, the Son of God, asked our confession. Let us hold fast our confession and call on Jesus. For we do not have a high priest. That is, we have a high priest. Let me just change this. We have a high priest that has been tested with all of the feelings that we have in infirmity. He was tempted with them, yet... He never once sinned. He never bowed to those infirmities. Amen. So today we can come boldly in our area of weakness, in our area of lack. Amen. Jesus is able to make up your lack in walking in, in ability, in your infirmity. Jesus himself is able to come in as you call upon him and meet you and quicken your mortal body from the inside in Jesus name. Let me just read this again. Seeing then that we have this great high priest that has passed into heaven, Jesus, the son of God, let us hold fast our profession, our confession, for we have not a high priest, which is his cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. In other words, he is touched with the feelings of your lack. But when he was, and when he had those infirmities himself and was tempted with them, he never sinned. Amen. So let's come boldly today unto the throne of grace that we may obtain grace and mercy in our time of need for whatever lack you have. 
for whatever weakness, whatever is going on that you are in, um, in weakness, we have a high priest. Call on Jesus right now. Thank you, Jesus, by your stripes. I thank you, Lord, that your body was broken for me. And by your stripes, I was healed. That I receive right now, in Jesus' name, the empowerment of your spirit to quicken me in my mortal body in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We receive it. We take it. We come boldly because you said we could because of all that you've purchased for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Go in faith. Amen. Go in faith. Move forward because your victory is in Jesus. Amen. Thank you for being with me. God bless you. Have a have a day filled with power coming from on high in Jesus name.